Okay guys, welcome back. So in the last video, I derived a simple equation, a simple relationship between c square and m, right? c square equals 3 rt by m, c square equals 3 rt by m. And we found also that the kinetic energy of a gas, the kinetic energy of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature. So that when the temperature is increased, the kinetic energy increases, and if the kinetic energy increases, the value of c squared also increases. So that is also obvious from this equation as well. If m is a constant, the molar mass of a gas is constant. The temperature is when the temperature is increased, the value of c squared by increases. So the value of t is a constraint, right? Constraint that will be used in these equations. When the value of t increases, the velocity of the gases increases. Velocity of the molecules increases. So the kinetic energy of the molecules increases. All right. So that is the theory of the la that we found from the last video. Now let's take a simple example to elaborate that concept, so that you will get a thorough con understanding of that that video and the concepts and uh, the con uh, complex systems of gas laws. So let's take a simple example. So uh, let's take a simple problem. So the problem is uh, explaining that uh, it given a sample of helium. A sample of helium. Let's take a sample of helium. Helium. Right? And the molecular mass of helium has been given as 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilograms. So the molecular mass m is equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilograms. And the question is asking what is the uh, square mean velocity, right? Square mean velocity of the, uh, sorry, root square mean velocity, root square mean velocity of helium at STB. All right, root mean square velocity. So then this, this, this is the one that has been asked. Right? This is the one that has been asked. Root mean square velocity. Root mean square velocity of the gas at STB, so STB is standard temperature pressure, right, at STB. So the standard temperature, you know that the standard temperature is, what, 273, right? So 273 Kelvin, so zero Celsius, and the standard uh, pressure. So actually the standard pressure is not relevant here. Standard pressure, we can take 1 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal, so 760 millimeters of mercury or something like that, uh, but the standard pressure is not relevant. So you know that C squared bar equals 3 times RT by M. So that is the equation that I am using here. So since C squared bar equals 3 RT by M, you have been given the value of T, you have been given the value of M, so you know the value of T R already, it's a universal constant. So you don't need the value of P. So you, can, you have to take only the value of T. Uh, given the value that the system is obeying the STP conditions. Okay. So we have to find the root mean square velocity, root mean uh, square velocity of the system. So we can only find the root square of this velocity. So to find the square root of that, we have to take the root of both sides because you know that C squared bar, the root of that is approximately equal to this one right it's another relationship if you have watched my videos on uh, chemistry you must have heard it's approximately equal to this one so what you can say is that if you take the root that will be approximately equal to this one right so sorry the root of that is approximately equal to the root of this right so C squared bar, the root of that is equal to 3 times R times T divided by M and the root of that. Right? You don't need this one, right? This is approximately equal to this one, but you don't need that concept. So C squared bar, root of that is equal to root 3 uh, R T by M, right? So it will be 3 times r which is 8.3 so remember to uh, apply insert the substitute the or the apply or insert the 
uh, it's a unit set value, right? So it will be joule kelvin per mole times the temperature. So the temperature is 273 kelvin divided by the molar mass, which is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilograms, and the root of that that means the half value, right? Okay. This is a very long one, so I'll take everything to the power half. Okay. So this is a, this. So we have solved this. So the solution of this whole thing is the answer that we need. So if you solve this, you will get finally that this is uh, three two five six. So let's calculate. I'll calculate using my calculator. 3 into 8.3 into 273 right whole thing divide by 0 0.004 right and the root of that so that is approximately equal to 1300 meters per second so this is 1300 meters per second this is c squared root of that. So if c squared root of that is 1300 meters per second, so that's a, it's actually the uh, answer that has been expected at this problem. You can imagine at how the velocity of the, at, at what velocity these objects, these uh, molecules, right, these atoms and molecules inside a gas is moving, right? It's a very, uh, so very, so 1300 meters per second is 1.3 kilometers per second, right? So you can imagine at what speed, right? What uh, high speed uh, these gas molecules are translating inside a uh, gas vessel or a gas system. So that's actually that's actually beyond this uh, video and beyond the theories of this video. So what we need is a value of this one. So we found 1,300 meters per second. So that is the intention of this video. So I just took a simple example in which we have to find we have to find a simple example in the relationship of uh, the temperature to the root mean uh, square of a uh, gas. Alright, so thanks for watching this video and see you again on another concept in gas laws. See you then.